Why is it that no matter what expansion pack we get lately, it's always just a few days before the community's excitement is mostly gone? I've been doing some thinking on that problem and talking with my friend who also plays Sims 4. She summed up the reason she doesn't make it very far into a Sims life before she grows bored with seven key words. A lack of long-term gameplay opportunities. It instantly clicked for me that she's right. I have this exact same problem. So what does that mean? Well, purely sandbox games are fine in general. This is a life simulator and something real people do is work toward long-term goals. When you sit down to play a game, you probably do have some kind of goal in mind. To find redstone in Minecraft, or to beat the next boss in Dark Souls, to farm some money, to buy something expensive. But with The Sims 4, there isn't much reason to come back to one family after a dozen or so hours of play. Why is that? Well, take this example. When a new Sims pack comes out, your screen is immediately flooded with some kind of message that tells you everything you need to know to get started. Sims show up at the door to kickstart your quest to conquer the new content. You are given instructions on how to burn through the new systems as rapidly as possible. It's always some new skill or career and you can hit max level in just a couple hours of play. Given there isn't much to be done beyond making the world clean and eco lifestyle, it's even more obvious that longevity is not the goal with these packs and I believe that's a huge mistake. You start and within 72 hours of starting, the world is already neutral. One simple action plan needs to be passed and you need to put down about four windmills, which will cost you 3,000 or so, and you've got your neighborhood to green and remove to the trash. Assuming that the system doesn't bug out, but in Eco in particular, the NPCs might even pick modern development or green initiative by pure chance in the first week, ridding you of that whole nasty cleanup quest that you were going to play without you doing anything. They may also steal your sinks or introduce infidelity to your already rocky marriage. <laughs> Look, I didn't make this just to pick on Eco Lifestyle actually, it's just a good example because some of you may have false memories that you actually played cats and dogs and didn't just watch a cat stand in a damn cake. <laughs> Eco Lifestyle is by no means the only Sims 4 pack that you burn through in record time. Island Living was the same thing, they even give you free mermaid powers. I know some of you know how frustrated I was with Roma Magic. My second time touching it, I managed to make a master spellcaster in one hour. Tell me, in Realm of Magic, what else is there to do other than to make a master spellcaster? There isn't anything else. So while people said to me at the time, well sure, of course you burned through it. You focused on one thing and you got done super fast as a result. I'm not crazy to think that a pack should last more than an hour. No, I'm not crazy. But look, one simple concept would fix that. Any long-term goal that I'd have some reason beyond my own fun to keep playing that same character. Problem is, I don't normally play just for the sake of playing. I want to win, or I want to farm, or I want to advance in some way. I don't set arbitrary goals like make a million bucks unless I have something to spend it on. You could say master more skills or pursue other aspirations. But mastering more skills and finishing more aspirations is not a proper long-term goal. It's, it's a one at a time picking at it thing and you can only care about doing all the aspirations like once. If you have played Sims 4, you know mastering a skill and finishing an aspiration are pretty much the same thing anyway. It's just about whether the aspiration is on or not. It doesn't even need to be since half the goal is master the skill. So the pack I believe would inject a little bit of life into Sims 4 uses existing stuff to create challenges for the player that take a long time to finish but yet reward you as they go. Yes, a lot of other things need improved, but I would say that even if you were to improve them, long term goals are necessary to make a game last longer. Such a pack would not tell you what to do at the beginning because its goal is to be more of a mid to end game content. Does Sims 4 have an end game? No, it doesn't, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Stuff you can't hope to do in the first day or week except maybe take those first baby steps. Something that rewards doing things that have no purpose like getting gold at parties or having a lot of friendships, maxing more than one money maker skill. Something that offers unique rewards. Offer extremely high-end things to sink money into that will change up how the game plays out. 
If you can't do one pack around this idea, maybe just a couple things to make each pack last longer than a weekend. In Sims 3, it was lifetime wishes, the skill challenge system, and the fact that you had the opportunity to spend millions of simoleons in real estate and still not own everything. In Sims 4, selling one painting will get you the most expensive stuff in the game. Yes, you frequent viewers will know that I feel I need something to do with money and I already know that you agree with me, so I won't rant in that direction for right now. If you doubt me, I would challenge you to actually try and think of all the things that have been added on and what, if any of that, actually counts as a long-term goal that goes beyond a sim week or two. It's like as if Sims is now made specifically for people who don't normally play video games, but without the understanding that even non-gamers enjoy having goals to work toward. The dumbest people among us will still figure everything out eventually and they'd have a lot of fun doing it. People keep saying it's made for kids and that's the problem, but yet it's a rated teen game where people fornicate in dumpsters. Aren't the children going to ask mommy what goes on in those dumpsters? Anyway, in any game, it feels good to knock out a big go. Rags to Riches is like, get 3,000 simoleons from dumpsters in the first day, apparently. Yes, I do watch Della Gracie sometimes. The Sims team aren't making any goals, and the ones you might set for yourself, such as maxing a skill or cleaning up the world, are being handed out at a rate that makes there nothing to do after your first day with a new pack. This is one of those videos that YouTube will probably show to a lot of people who don't watch my channel. No, this isn't all I do, just because you saw my other video where I complained about something I don't like. I have 130 videos and maybe 5 are like this. That's all I got for now. Thanks as always for your support guys and gals.